in eukaryotes like plants and animals we can find huge number of cells in the cytosol of both plant and animal cell some abnormal or unwanted proteins are present these abnormal or unwanted proteins act as target protein to these target proteins ubiquitin protein are attached the process of ubiquitin attachment to the target protein is called as ubiquitination we will discuss more vividly about this ubiquitination process in this video after ubiquitination the poly ubiquitinated target protein moves towards 26s proteasome the folded target protein then undergoes unfolding to produce an unfolded protein the ubiquitins are then released from the unfolded protein to the cytosol the unfolded protein is then transferred into the proteasome in the proteasome the unfolded protein undergoes proteolysis to produce short peptides due to this proteolysis abnormal or unwanted proteins are not accumulated in the cell now we will focus on ubiquitination process the ubiquitination process has three steps before going to the detailed steps we should know about ubiquitin ubiquitin is one of the most highly conserved proteins known the ubiquitin consists of 76 amino acids in the step 1 a biochemical reaction occurs in which the reactants are ubiquitin and an atp this reaction is catalyzed by e1 or ubiquitin activating enzyme the sh group in e1 is called as thiol group this thiol group reacts with the carboxyl group of ubiquitin to form an e1 ubiquitin complex the atp in this reaction is converted to an amp and an inorganic pyrophosphate in step 2 the e1 ubiquitin complex in presence of another thiol group containing enzyme called as e2 or ubiquitin conjugating enzyme is converted into an freed thiol group containing e1 and an e2 ubiquitin complex in step 3 e2 ubiquitin complex reacts with a target protein in presence of e3 or ubiquitin ligase to form a product in which the ubiquitin is attached to the target protein through an amide or isopeptide bond and a thiol group containing e2 the isopeptide bond is formed due to the linkage between free carboxyl group of ubiquitins carboxy terminal glycine amino acid which is not shown here and an epsilon amino group of a lysine amino acid of the target protein this ubiquitin attached target protein undergoes step 1 2 and 3 for n times to produce a target protein to which n plus 1 number of ubiquitins are attached this is the poly ubiquitin chain attached to the target protein please like subscribe and share